Hey guys and gals, this is the uh, Monarch 10 E lathe. Um, this beautiful example uh, came from 1943. Uh, got it from a guy I know. Thanks, guy. And uh, it's uh, just a beautiful piece of equipment. I'm sitting here uh, drooling. So if uh, you guys see some water spots, it's me. It's not raining. But. Uh, um, anyways, uh, get into some of the details of this uh, machine. Um, it hasn't run uh, in a while. It doesn't look like um, uh, motor connections. Uh, it doesn't have a control panel, so to speak. Uh, it doesn't have switches inside of it. None of the above. Um, I'm going to do this thing a big favor and I'm going to upgrade it to a uh, 5 horsepower Baldor motor with a, uh, a VFD. And uh, we're going to make this thing uh, work again here. Um, it's just a beautiful example and show you kind of some of the stuff that I got with it here. Uh, I got a three horsepower motor with it, but I'll use that for something else. Uh, and a regular gearbox that came for the 10 EE. Uh, the covers I took off already just to uh, show you around the back here in a second. Um, got an Aloris tool post, uh, some... Uh, switches another tachometer uh, some other goodies and a, uh, a VFD came with it brand spanking new in the box so um, uh, hopefully uh, with all of this I could uh, spin this old lathe up and um, make some chips take you kind of walk around the back here it's in uh, got an ugly color but uh, it's in real good shape uh, for the age of it um, it's been used and um, there's some dings and scratches but uh, really I mean uh, nothing I can't live with um, I'm sure if I couldn't somebody else would uh, love to have it and all that good stuff but um, uh, anyways um, uh, it was owned by the Navy at one time uh, the property of the United States Navy 001 Three, four. I'm sure I'll have to uh, look that up and uh, see what comes up. Uh, it's almost like operating a spaceship in a way. Uh, I mean, there is a lot going on. Uh, feeds. Um, okay, all your gear cutting, threads per inch, and your feeds are here. Um, you can make it feed left and right hand from this control right here. Just by a switch of the gears. Uh, you can lock the spindle back here. It's got a wicked cool motor in this thing with a gearbox on the front of it. And uh, it's shifted by a lever, high, low, medium. Uh, although it looks like uh, something's been done. But um, we're going to swap this out here with the 5 horsepower motor and uh, we'll run it by this belt right here. Everything down here will be inconsequential after the, uh, the new motor goes in there. So we'll run it off of this belt and uh, we'll keep the original uh, uh, drive ratio. So um, um, the, at 60 hertz uh, the machine will act just like... Uh, normal and you can use all the feeds and all that good stuff as the uh, stuff and you have also the uh, ability um, to wire in um, potentiometer and we could uh, control that speed as well for a further reduction and other good stuff but uh, this is just a look at it it's been sitting around for a while it's kind of dirty but mm, I mean really um, I'm not complaining one bit. Um, I look forward to uh, uh, yanking the motor out of this thing. That's going to be the first mode of operation. And uh, we're going to make this uh, little beauty um, uh, come back to life. So uh, if you guys will keep watching this stuff, I'll keep making videos. Uh, I'll give you guys a close-up of the serial number plate for anybody interested.
I don't know how that's going to focus. This is a GoPro camera, but uh, here's a shot of the uh, inside of the back of the motor. Pretty neat. Got this lever on it that you can um, change the position of the carbon brushes and uh, change the output, I guess, of uh, this generator. And motor speed, I guess. Um, I'm kind of new to the concept of what this thing ran on, and I don't think I understand, but um, I'm sure there's people out there to enlighten. Um, but uh, actually, none of this is going to matter because it's coming out, and um, I'm going to put into a realm that I do understand, uh, VFD motor control. So uh, if you guys want to take a ride with me, tune in. I'll keep making these videos if you'll keep watching them. Thanks for tuning in.